coin. Hey there, YouTube coin community. It's Dustin with CoinOp, and today we are going to take a look at some really cool Indian head scent date varieties. So let's dive right on in. Okay, for this video, we are going to be in PCGS Price Guide. And in the Price Guide, if you were on PCGS Price Guide, if you were to come down to Indian Head Scent on the front page and click on that, that's where we're going to be at. And I'm also going to use as a reference uh, NGC's Variety Plus. This is a great site for looking up uh, various varieties. So I strongly suggest checking out variety plus but again we're going to just go to uh, United States coinage and we're going to go to sense and we are going to go to Indian head sense so this is where we are going to be at for this video okay so first of all we are going to take a look at the 1867 repunch date now this one is listed as FS 301 or snow one so if we come down here to 1867 There it is. They have it listed under their 1867 over 67, which is the FS301 Snow One. This is a beautiful repunched date. Now this one is very, very popular. If you are looking at this one and you pay attention to the date on the six and the seven, you can see clear and evident repunching right on the six and seven, right to the north. So you can see it right here. You can see it right here see right here that is a very popular and beautiful variety now if you are lucky enough to find one of these gorgeous uh, repunch dates in a fine 12 these start out at around $250 and in an AU 50 they start trading at around $785 while uncirculated examples they start out at around $1,400, and they can trade all the way up to $25,000 for a very nice high-grade red example. Okay, we are going to move on to a very popular variety. Uh, we are going to move on to the 1869 repunch date. Now, this one is listed as FS301 or Snow 3. It's right here on the price guide. Now on this one, it's very similar to the repunching that we just saw on the previous one. But if you are looking down at the date, you can see, especially on the six and nine, clear and evident repunching just slightly to the north. You can see a clear nine is repunched underneath the primary, and a clear six is repunched underneath the primary. You can see a little bit on the eight, a little tiny bit on the one, but you're mainly looking at the six and nine in the date. That's the 1869. Now, if you do happen to find one of these in a fine 12, these start out at around $325. And in an AU50, they trade for around $725. While uncirculated examples, they start out at around $900. And it looks like that they can trade all the way up to around $7,000 for a nice high grade example. All right, we are going to move on to a very, very, very popular variety. Most people that know about any Indian head scent varieties, this is the one that they know about, and it's the one that they go searching for. And it is the 1888 over 7. Now, if you look, PCGS even lists that there's an estimated only five to 600 of these. These do trade for large amounts of money. So we're going to take a look at one. Okay, so we have an 1888 over 7 pulled up right here. And if you're looking at this one, I'm going to point out a couple die markers for you to look for as well. But if you're looking at this one, it's really difficult to see, especially on a lower grade example. But you're basically looking right down here at the bottom of the 8. You can see the bottom of a 7 sticking out, 7 that runs right through here. And you can see it right on the top of the 8. That's mainly where you're looking. You can see a little bit of other uh, 
remnants left behind, but that is the main thing. That is the 1888 over 7. But there are a few die markers to look for. First of all, if you take a look at a lot of various 1888s, you are going to notice that the date moves around. There's a very particular date placement for the 1888 over 7. And if you look, it's just a little bit past the point of the bust. You'll find some of them where the one starts over here, some of them where the one's over here. But you're looking for it where it's right underneath the point of the bust, just a little bit to the right of the point of the bust. And you're going to want to take a look up at the T and E and unite it. You're going to look for this die break. This is a very nice die marker. It's this die break right here. So if you can find that die break up in the denticles, I mean the T, E, and D, well, you might have something. And then look down at that date. But if you're lucky enough to find one of these 1888 over sevens, and I have searched endlessly, but they are out there. If you're lucky enough to find one of these in a fine 12, they start out at around $4,250. That's in a fine 12. In a G4, they start out at $2,000. It's a Lowest grade PCGS even lists for it, and they start out at $2,000. In an AU50, these trade for around $16,000. And uncirculated examples, well, it looks like they start out around $24,000, and they can trade all the way up to $95,000 for a very nice high grade example. So these trade for almost all the way up to $100 thousand dollars from two thousand almost up to a hundred thousand dollars that is a very valuable very valuable coin okay we're going to move on to another very popular one we're going to move on to the 1894 fs301 this is a snow one that's what it's listed as here it is down here 1894 over 1894 repunch date fs301 snow one we're going to take a look at this one this is a very very pretty uh, variety. Okay, so the 1894 over 1894, the repunch date FS301. Um, this isn't the greatest example to use, but we'll try. If you're looking at this one, you can see clear repunching right to the top, to the north and right of the nine and four. You can see a little bit of the repunching on the one and eight, but it's the strongest on the nine and four. This isn't the greatest example. This one's kind of difficult to see it on. So we're gonna take a look at NGC's Variety uh, Plus's example. This one will show it a little bit better. But if you're looking right next to the one, you can see clear repunching. Right next to the eight, you can see remnants of it. Right inside of the eight, you can see it the nine right inside the loop of the nine and right on the back side and that four you can clearly see a repunched four this is a very strong repunched date very popular one too just a beautiful beautiful variety now if you do happen to find one of these in a fine 12 they start out at around 125 dollars and in an au 50 it looks like they can trade upwards of 450 dollars while uncirculated examples looks like they start out at around $1,500 and it looks like they can trade upwards of $6,000 for a nice high grade example. All right, we're gonna take a look at one more. We're gonna take a look at the 1867 misplaced date listed as FS401. There it is right there, 1897, misplaced date, FS401, Snow 1. Now this one is a fun variety because this one has a misplaced date and it is in the neck of Liberty. So if you are taking a look at the date and you look down here at the bust and you see the pearl necklace, well right above it, you're going to see the remnants of a secondary one up there in the neck so apparently there is a date that almost got pressed in up here but you can see the remnants of the one so this is actually a really easy one to cherry pick all you need to do is just go look through images and if you happen to find one where it looks like lady liberty has a very large adam's apple sticking out 
Well, you might have this 1897 misplaced date. Now, if you do happen to find one of these beautiful varieties, in a fine 12, these start out at around 125 bucks, and in an AU50, they trade for around $220. And uncirculated examples, they start out around $325, and it looks like they can trade upwards of $6,500 for a nice high-grade example. Let's look at one over here in NGC. I know they've got a nice photo of one. There it is. So here's a nice up-close photo of it sticking out right there in the neck. This is over on NGC's Variety Plus. There it is. So there you go, everyone. There are some beautiful varieties for you. Just a heads up, YouTube coin community. Art Ring from the RPM Group on Facebook and in conjunction with CoinOp has put out a limited edition 1960D repunched mint mark RPM 1 commemorative pin. Now this pin, there's only 30 of them that are being put out. These are made in a copper coated zinc, just like the 1982 Lincoln Sense until current. So this pin all around commemorates the repunched mint marks, the Lincoln Sense. It's just an amazing, awesome pin. And the only way for you to get your hands on one of these limited edition pins is to tune in to Robert Lawson's auctions starting the 29th of April and continuing for the next two weeks. So tune on into those auctions, get your hands on one of these amazing 1960D RPM group pins. Well, there you go. We definitely hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments which one of these date varieties with these Indian head scents you would enjoy in your collection the most. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, click on that subscribe button. And while you are at it, click on the notification bell. That way you get notified immediately when we upload new content. Well, everyone, until next time, have fun. Oh.